we're here with the one and only Andy Wacker. And Andy has been on several mountain running teams. Is that correct? How many? Several, yeah. 14 US teams, five classic distance mountain running teams. Okay. And we've raced in the mountains together in Switzerland and Slovenia. So, you're looking to go to Thailand? Definitely. <laughs> All right. If that happens. If that happens. Yeah. So, Andy, you, have you run on this course? Yeah, I just finished doing a little shakeout run this morning. And how, what was shaking out there? It was pretty good. It was nice to see it. Um, you know, first of all, I'm just really excited that it's here. I uh, kind of helped get this course to be the U.S. Championship and um, just kind of nudged uh, the race directors to apply. And it was, it's really exciting to, to be here and see it happen, and especially after lots of races being canceled. I'm glad it's, right. it's going on. But, yeah, it's a beautiful course. I think it's real fast. Yeah, so this was supposed to happen in 2020, correct? It was. And we know it happened there. And a lot of races got canceled because of pandemic, COVID. And so, yeah, it's exciting to be back together and we're six feet, right? Yeah, that's about six feet. Yeah, definitely. So, we've both been vaccinated. And we're outside, so we don't have to wear a mask. And um, what the competition, the, the field is deep. What do you think about um, the field? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, both on the men's and, and the women's side, it's really cool to have a race here in Oregon. I think we're getting a lot of, um, and just this year too in general, we're getting a lot of people who maybe not wouldn't normally show up. Right. We're getting people from the West Coast. We're getting track and field people, some steeple chasers, some road racers. Five steeple chasers. I'm been counting. That's a lot. We better put up some hurdles on the course. We are, yeah. Um, <laughs> Lots. Yeah. So and it's cool. Like Tyler McCandless is a acquaintance of mine who's. Um, We've been racing since college, 10Ks and on the road, so it's kind of neat to see someone like him. And he's new to the trail. To scene. come onto the trail, I think it's going to be like his fifth or sixth race, so yeah. it's exciting to see a lot of those new faces to, to really increase the depth and quality of not in the U.S. Yeah, I think so too. It's definitely helped in the past. We've had a lot of athletes that are, are track, road, come on, like yourself. I think you're one of your first races coming off a road career. You did really well. Made a mountain running team. Traveled all around the world. Yeah. My first my first mountain team was the long distance team. Um, that was it, was it was Pikes Peak 2014. Right. And I made it by running a road race. Wow. Up Mount Evans. All right, yeah. Mount Evans, well, which is a mountain it's a mountain race. road. Mountain, mountain road, road, but yeah, high combo. altitude. You started <laughs> 10,600, finish at 14, two, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. I remember because I was looking at your butt the whole time, running up the mountain. Um, so yeah, so we have a lot of track athletes, a lot of road athletes that are that are coming out, which is making the sport competitive, much more competitive, which is good to see. Uh, and uh, speaking of that, what is the altitude of Mount Hood? Oh, I looked it up. Mount Hood over there, eleven thousand two hundred, give or take. What is the give or take? You got to give us an exact number. Oh, so it's eleven thousand two hundred and forty feet. Okay, you heard it here. Wacker made today because the ice melted a little. Oh right, right. We lost a foot. It's hot. So hot right now. <laughs> All right. So um, we've heard the downhills on this course are blazing fast, and you are a blazing fast downhill runner. What do you think? Uh, yeah. To be honest, I'm like psyched about it, but I'm also a little. Um, I think it's to my disadvantage in some ways because this downhill is really fast, but it's so fast and not technical comparatively right. to some mountain courses that I don't think that there's going to be a lot of passing happening. Right. So I think that um, it would be really hard to make up, let's say, a couple places if you're at the top because the difference between running two miles in 9.30 or two miles in 10 minutes not a lot of seconds to make up. Yeah, I've heard there's a lot of tight turns, so you, you're going to have to slow down before doing a switch back, even though it's fast. Um, so hopefully no one blows out their, their quads or, or uh, IT bands. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so yeah, you're, you've known, you've been known for running fast downhills. I think you had a sub four downhill mile in the middle of a marathon, is that correct? Mountain marathon? Yeah, I think it was a 404 at uh, the World Long Distance Champs in 2018 in Poland. Okay. Thanks. So, yeah, we're 
talking GPS, about fast. GPS. Fast. <laughs> Thanks, Garmin. Yeah. Soon to. You added four seconds. Thanks, soon to. Yeah. Uh, ha have you seen the movie The Shining? Oh yeah. Do you know where that was filmed? I do. Yeah, it's Timberline Lodge, right down the road. Right down the road. Mm -hmm. But based on the Stanley Hotel, Correct. Estes Park. So a good little connection between Oregon and Colorado, right there. Yes. Yes. And. Um, Johnny from the movie Jack Nicholson is going to be out on the course. Did you know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> He's going to have a big axe. So Ooh. You have to run fast. A lot of lumberjacking to be done yes. up there. It is Oregon. Yes. It's, it's wooded here. All right, so um, best of luck tomorrow. Any parting thoughts? We yeah, can't see your eyes behind those glasses. Yeah. <laughs> That's all, yeah. I'm just excited to be here and excited that uh, we have such a good feel. So. Alright, thanks, Wacker. Fist bump.